Hello everybody, this is Moses from Wilderness Cave. We are going to continue our story with Hackleswell, the Mallard Scholar. Uh, and as we rolled on the dice, um, he was a soldier, a hero as well. A hero in battle. So let's do a little recap of the last episode. So Hackleswell met up with his friend, Holomar, and Holomar offered him lunch before he ventured out to his adventure. So when Hackleswell left and said his goodbyes to Holomar, he traveled this direction and got to the river. He successfully swam across the river because the bridge was broken and it was too late to head to uh, the farmhouses. He's trying to get to this old farmhouse here, a very large farmhouse of his old friend right in this location. Uh, but he, he ended up right over here. So, so with this game, you have to take a rest or sleep every day, once every day. Um, and it was about time. The time was long enough where it was so many shifts where he had to, to sleep in this location. So he had to sleep next to the river. But when Hackleswell rolled a skill roll for bushcraft to see if he made camp well enough, it was a fail. And I gave four options of failure and I did my live dice roll then. So on this, in this series, my live dice roll that I roll dice, the live one, is the last roll of the game. Everything else has been played out. The, the ending of the session is a live dice roll that should be either thematic, cinematic, or adventurous. So then I asked the question of the oracle, why was the resting place not suitable? And I rolled a four, which was inspiration table. Then we found out through more dice rolls that hackles well as an extreme no, hackles well has problem sleeping, uh, chronic problem sleeping. So that's gonna affect the gameplay going forward. So let's move on to this session. So this half of a map is a little closer. So Hackleswell is right here. He didn't sleep any, and the sun is beginning to rise. So he's right here next to the river, right next to this broken bridge. And that's where we're gonna begin. So like I mentioned in the last video, all this writing is to help me remember how to tell the story. So these are just prompts. Then I'm gonna expand on what I wrote. So this is Hackles Will's journal, traveling journal, written in third person though, but still, it's his journal, and this is what Hackles Will is seeing right now, the river. So, it is now morning, that hence why I wrote morning right here. It is now morning, Hackles Will did not get a full night's rest, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. He is a scholar, he has traveled far and wide discovering, harvesting the flora of the lands he has traveled over the years. So I'm including that because that is key to this journal. He has a journal with him and a quill that's in his inventory pack here. He has a journal because he wants to record or draw or write down, you know, interesting things that he sees in his travels to the waterfall in Dragonfang Peaks. He can see his friend's farmhouse in the distance. So way in the distance, he sees a farmhouse, the big farmhouse that, uh, that is this one right here. So he sees this farmhouse in the distance. He sees that farmhouse, but it's way too far right now to just set up and go. But there is still too much mist and fog as the sun is still rising. So he, he just wants to lay low a little bit. He's still a little tired. He is sleep deprived, by the way. So that has connotations as well. And we're going to roll on that in a minute here. He is exhausted and is fed up with his horrible sleeping patterns. The time is morning. Now Hackles will decides before he wants to travel to the farmhouse, which is maybe about three kilometers away. He decides that he wants to look around for particular plants because he, he knows a lot about plants, i.e. he's a scholar, the Hackles will the all knowing. He knows a lot about the flora. That's his specialty. So he wants to search for particular plants in his location. Let me get the glare out of there. He wants to search for particular plants in this location. You can see it's a little bit green and everything. I'm assuming that there's a lot of plant growth here, M most likely medicinal plant growth. So the plants that he is searching for are as follows. Horsetail, chamomile, and rosemary. 
Now let me show you where I got those ideas. One, I'm an avid gardener outside of RPG realm. I'm an avid gardener. I actually have another channel, YouTube channel, for gardening. So I'm an avid gardener. I love gardening. But I have a lot of books. So let me show you a couple things I saw. So I have, now this is also side notes for everybody else. I have, I have a few books here I'm going to go through. This is the Disney's Hocus Pocus spell book. There is a spell in here called The Sleeping Draught for Bringing Rest. And in here, there's all this weird, you know, the tincture of chamomile, etc., etc., etc. So I am uh, tarragon, valerian, slime of slug and snail, regardless, all that kind of stuff. But chamomile, chamomile is known um, to help with sleep. So he's on the lookout for chamomile, like I wrote. So these, I already know what can help with sleep, but I went through my books to see what would help. So I could show you through books. So you could do this at home as well, if you like. Just buy some books. And a lot of cool stuff can be had with these things. So chamomile, that's on the list right here. Then we have Herbal Magic, this little book. I'll just show it if you'd like. This little book right here. Rosemary. I didn't know that. I mean, this is what it's, you know, I don't know if it's been studied. Um, like lavender has been studied to help with sleep, but I don't know about rosemary. So rosemary Rosemary leaves, strong pine-like flavor, clarity, remembrance, sweet dreams, purification, sweet dreams. So he's not, Hackleswell isn't, isn't having problems going to sleep. He's having problems staying asleep because he keeps getting nightmares of a premise I'm going to let you all know later on of why he's having nightmares. I know why um, in a sense of I know his backstory. A little bit. I, I haven't. I, I rolled the dice to find out as well what would happen, um, but there's not. I don't know everything, so I'm still intrigued on his character because I don't know everything about it. But I know why he's having nightmares, and that will come up hopefully in the narrative. Um, so yes, yeah, sweet dreams. So this will help. The chamomile will help him go to sleep, and the rosemary will help him have sweet dreams instead of nightmares. So uh, there's one more book. So what is happening right here is he's going to try to make a tincture. Now he doesn't have the equipment to make a tincture. He has, um, but his friend at the farmhouse may have, most likely will have a, a family member or himself, the farmer. I'm assuming a family member that's probably skilled in apothecary. Excuse me, apothecary. I keep saying apothecary because of the game I like, the RPG game with a deck of cards. So here is this one, Backyard Witchcraft. So for horsetail, like you saw right here, the horsetail. So for horsetail, it has a, this is actually, a lot of this is actually true. It's not just made up verbiage to fill up a book. Uh, it does have traces amount of gold, not all of them. There, it's, it's full of silica. It pulls minerals like crazy. Uh, horsetail also is, I think, one of the only plants in the world that bugs cannot ingest because if you rub your fingernail on horsetail stems, it will rub your fingernail off and that will do with their mandibles. When the bug tries to bite the plant, their mandibles wear down so they just stay away from horsetail. But regardless, there are studies that help you sleep with horsetail, but it's inconclusive in real world. Um, not this, you know, I could make it up right now that horsetail helps sleeping in this game, but in real world, um, and by the way, if you're trying to ingest horsetail, uh, speak to your physician first. <laughs> I got to mention all this stuff. Anyways, that's just a side note. So he drew in his journal what they look like. He knows what they look like, and he's going to travel the area, not too far, hopefully, to find these three herbs that will help him uh, sleep and, and have sweet dreams if he makes a tincture out of them. Uh, by the way, if many of you don't know what a tincture is, it's ba it, there's many ways you can make a tincture in the real world, um, but most of it is is you use vodka or alcohol, you know, drinkable alcohol, um, not the ones you could put on, you know, cuts or something like that, where you just leave it in there for about two to three weeks, maybe even a month. The herbs that you collect, drain it out, and that vodka, basically, that's left the alcohol that's left is uh, a tincture. It, abs it absorbed, it, it, re it took out all the, um, the medicinal qualities of the herbs that you put in there. That's what a tincture is. So anyways, he's gonna try to make a tincture, but at first he needs to find the herbs. So I rolled a skill 
for uh, bushcraft again, and it was a success at five. He needed a 14. It was a success at five. So Hackerswell finds many horsetail plants growing near uh, the riverbed, a lot of them. Um, there are probably even more if he had had gone down to the the haunted marshes, but I do not want to go there. So he found a lot of horsetail here. So he also found rosemary near large stone boulders. They like to stay warm. So rosemary is next to boulders and chamomile is close by and it's just perfect time for chamomile because it is early, late winter, early spring and chamomile blooms rather early. Now I'm, I'm guessing you saw this word here, sleeping poison. Maybe I'll put something on the screen right now. Hackleswell is going to try and do something for, I love this area. This is just adventure for me right here. This is outside of White Run right here. So you'll see in a little bit here, you're going to see a Skyrim video coming up that I recorded um, where I play Skyrim and what happens in this game or where I am relates to what happens in this book. So this river, this idea came from playing this game right here. But I just look, when I see this right here, this scene with the horse and buggy, I just think of adventure. So Hackleswell, sorry for that little tangent. Hackleswell is going to try to do something that I have never thought of. Well, I did think of it now, but I never thought of prior in all the years I've played, or I never thought I would do something like this. He is going to make a tincture out of these three ingredients. And those three ingredients, let's say, become a sleeping poison. Okay. Uh, horsetail, by the way, horsetail is, you know, can be very uh, detrimental to your health if you ingest too much of it. So that is, in a way, a poison in a way it, because of that horsetail. But there's a lot of benefits to the horsetail in this case, at least. But because of the horsetail, if he ingests a lot, it becomes a poison. So he is going to try to put himself to sleep at night, making a sleeping poison. He's not going to give it to an enemy. He's going to make tinctures, hopefully at his friend's farmhouse, or his friend maybe knows how to make it, or the, his friend's wife or daughter or son or relative or whatever. Hopefully someone knows how to make it because he's going to ingest the, the sleeping poison to go to sleep because I cannot keep going with sleep deprivation because you're going to find out right now why. Uh, let's see. Hackleswell finds many horsetail plants. Okay, not too far. He finds chamomile about a half a kilometer in the meadows among other blooming plants. And by the way, these notepads are my dice rolls that I don't want to show yet. Okay, now we're at forage. Then he found rosemary bushes near large boulders, roughly one kilometer away from the river. Hackleswell places three stems, I rolled a d6 and it was three stems, of horsetail, a handful of chamomile flowers, and a few stems of rosemary in his pocket. They're all tiny items. Okay, items are tiny and don't take inventory. So they're all tiny items because, you know, just a little pinch of handful of herbs is not going to take an inventory slot. So they're right here. So now he has a fishing line and hook, horsetail three, chamomile, rosemary. So that's what he has in his, basically in his pockets. Sleep deprivation, if I show it up on the screen right now as well, hopefully, if I remember. You need at least one shift of uninterrupted sleep every day. You cannot, which he has not had. You cannot sleep in armor. After three shifts without sleep, you, are no long, you can no longer heal WP or conditions. Right now it's the first shift. It's the first shift without sleep, after no sleep. You heal HP as usual, so this doesn't really affect HP, but it does affect your willpower. You also lose D6 willpower each shift you remain awake. So right now is this first shift. So I have to roll, and it continues, you can read on if it's on the screen, hopefully. So I have to roll a D6. So I rolled a D6, he rolled, or I rolled a four. So he lost four WP. So now he's down, he started at 17, now he's down to 10 willpower points. And here are the boulders. You can see where he found some rosemary here. You see the chamomiles are over here. Chamomiles don't really like being too hot, but rosemary does. So all this, all this is rosemary, beautiful trees in the background, big boulders. 
So that's where he is right now. That's where you found those rosemary plants. And it's somewhere, it's right over here. You see all the boulders right here? That's where he found them. Somewhere right over here where it turns a little green. So he's quite a distance. So he started here, instead of going this way, he said, I need to find herbs. And he went over here. So he needs to head back to his farm, uh, his friend's house pretty soon. So now it's traveling to the farmhouse. So Hackle's Well is about one kilometer away from his friend's farmhouse. So he starts dashing to that farmhouse because he didn't want to sleep outside again. Uh, I didn't want to roll for a random encounter. I don't think it was needed. It was really close to the farmhouse. But because now it is night, he loses another D6 of WP. And I rolled a three. So now he's down to seven. Now you can see how bad this can get. He's going to get, if, if this doesn't go well for sleep, he's going to... Um, have zero very quickly. So sleep deprivation is a really bad thing. So Hackleswell arrives at his friend's farmhouse. He takes in a deep breath and enjoys the sights and sounds. So I'll show you right now what it looks like. I just basically, I'll show you in the screen two of the video of how I caught up to it. So basically when he's walking to the farmhouse from a stone path, you can see a whole bunch of different vegetables and and other plants and some plants he's not familiar with. Remember, I mentioned that this farmhouse grows special crop. Now, I don't know what that crop is, but it grows something special, something that other farms don't. And this is the largest farmhouse. The other farms aren't as large. You can see all the other farms that surround outskirt. Like there's a lot of houses per farm. Now look at this one farmhouse and look how big the farm is. Different colors too, so multiple crops. So you can see right now that I got the idea from Skyrim. It's uh, outside of uh, Whiterun, and I drew the picture as well that I saw. So there's the picture. I'll show the picture on the screen too of what I, what I saw in Skyrim, and I just wrote it there. So that's, that's the farmhouse, and it has a little mill as well. Okay, as a reminder, he needs to make a tincture of the herbs he collected to make a sleep poison to put himself to sleep and to stay asleep. Oh, look, sunset. Really, all I do is I collect herbs. And there's, you see right there, there it is. There's what the picture I took to make the drawing. I'm not too sure where uh, Hackleswell is going to go after this, so we're going to see. I don't think I'm going to take a coach because if there's no coach in the game, maybe, maybe this farmer will give me a ride. Maybe this farmer has a horse and buggy and can give me a ride somewhere. I don't know, maybe. Okay, the last post-it sticky note right here is the live dice roll that I'm gonna do. Now, before I uh, state what it is, I like to really think, I, I looked at my um, Amazon Kindle uh, account and I saw a whole lot of you have purchased my first ebook and I wanna just thank you. Uh, I'll put up links in the description if you'd like to purchase on Kindle or on Teespring as a PDF. Um, the story is about Olivia. We met her just briefly in Gorm's Father Adventure, YouTube Shorts Adventure. Um, I'm going to continue that story this week. Uh, we only just met her spirit. So even though the price of the book isn't that much, these purchases do help because it helps cover a lot of costs. I, I, I buy a lot of things and the programs I use are expensive. So thank you. And thank you for the comments too about how you like the book and how you purchased the book. So I'm really loving that. It really humbles me and makes me smile. So thank you. And like I said, the uh, description will have the links if you would like to purchase that book. And by the way, there are characters in that book as well that you've seen on this YouTube channel. So it's not just new people. It's going to be people that you've watched from previous series on this channel. Okay, now time for our last dice roll. So I was thinking, okay, now it's time for the live dice roll. So I was thinking, what should the live dice roll be? Now, he's going to have to tell his friend, because don't, I'm not too sure if he knows how to make this tincture, or he, even if he does, he doesn't have the equipment to make the tincture. He doesn't have a jar. He doesn't have alcohol. He doesn't have anything. So he needs those things. And if they, he asks for a jar, alcohol, and other things, his friend his, in the farmhouse, his friend might ask him, what do you need this stuff for? So he needs to tell him, he needs to be honest. He, he's going to be honest. He's going to tell him exactly what he's trying to do. He can't sleep 
And by the way, his friend at the farmhouse knows about his history and his recent history of what happened and why he's having nightmares probably. So he understands that he is having problems, but I don't think I have to roll in the Oracle to see how that all plays out. So in the distance, let me pull it over here. So in the distance, he hears someone calling out his name, you know, basically hackles. Well, it's you. It's been so long, etc., etc. So the last question the, I'm going to ask the Oracle live is what will the reaction be after asking to help make a sleep poison to ingest? So what will the reaction be of his friend at the farmhouse when he tells him, I need help to make a sleep poison and I'm going to take it myself on the fortune chart of dragon Bane, there is reaction. Now this is, I'm assuming for like enemies, like are they hostile is a roll of a D six, a roll of one is hostile. Two to three is wary. Four to five is open and six is friendly. So I'm assuming that's like an NPC you find. How would they react? Well, how would this NPC react when I told them I want to take poison to go to sleep? So, Hostile, if I roll a one on this D6, hostile is this friend is going to get extremely angry and tell Hackleswell that you need to leave. You know, we're still friends basically, but you need to leave. I'm not going to help you with this because you can get hurt you can, or die from this Hackleswell. I'm not going to do it. Wary is, I don't like this idea, but here are the, here's the equipment. You do it yourself. I'm not going to teach you. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to do it for you. Open is I'm going to show you the equipment and um, tell you how to do it, but you're going to do it yourself. But I will show you how to do it, but I'm not going to make it for you. And friendly is I'll do it for you. Of course, you're a friend of mine. I, you can't be sleep deprived so much. You already have seven WP left. <laughs> so we're going to find out right now. So hopefully it's a four five or six. These ones, these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones are the Bane. Huh? Look at that. Bane and uh, Dragon Bane, Bane and Boone. They are the Bane of my existence. These ones. So this right here, last live roll was a one. Now we know he has nightmares always and he can't get sleep. And now his friend is going to be hostile. So to help you with solo role playing, as this is the GM knows this now, the GM knows that if you're playing in a group that this NPC is not going to be happy about this at all. You as Hackleswell, you do not know. So Hackleswell is just going to ask and this is how the NPC is going to react. And in all honesty, I think that's what I was going to be anyways. He's basically just trying to make himself sick in a way to go to sleep. We'll see what happens on the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments what you'd like and what you didn't like or what you would like me to include. So happy gaming, everybody. Bye.